Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, Bar Sculpt. We got two blocks of work today. Each block has six moves. This is a repeat, so when you come back to it for that second round, I wanna see you turn it up. Equipment today is lightweight, so we're gonna use three to five and a chair. Hey, if you're new to this channel, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Nice warm up here today. So open up the heels into sumo squat position. We're gonna sweep it down and up. So drop and reach. So butt comes down to about knee height. Squat, step right heel in. Then the other leg. Lengthen up here. So when the heels click, you get a little bit taller. You got two more of these. And then you're gonna stay in that sumo. Drop for two. Heels up for two, heels down, heels up. Dig into your toes, warm up those feet. I am shoeless today. I'm kind of taking it a little risky. Now stay, just pulse, stay. Now press into the heels, less up, a little bit more down. You got eight more. Can you brace, shoulders back? Good, you're gonna squat, kick this leg in front. So drop and switch. So sweep it out in front. Watch your equipment here, right? Two more. You're gonna squat and then lunge, turn. So squat first, turn here. Give me that front, turn the lunge. So really sink and then right here. Maybe you reach up. Did you see that? Reach up there. Let's try it again. Lunge, reach. Let's do each direction again. All right, lateral lunges, just shifting side to side. Now here's an option. Reaching out in front of your foot. Maybe you look to the hand. Drop your hips back a little bit more. Can you open up the legs just one more inch? Oh yeah, this is feeling good. Eight more. Get your inner thighs nice and warm. Four, three, two, step in. Roll it back. Knees up, right, left. Now start to reach the arms up. As the knee comes up, pull the arms down. Pull. Feel like you're crunching a little bit here. Step out, squat. I'm gonna little, add a little bounce. Now, if you wanna turn it up a notch, you can take out the bounce and just jump out and in. Two more. Inhale, reach it up. Bring it on down. Can you fall forward? Half lift, roll it up, and we are ready to go. So have your chair ready, because these movements kind of go a little fast. We're gonna be doing 40 seconds of effort with a 10 second transition. First movement is a sumo squat. I'm gonna have my fives. I'm gonna reach and pull. So really good posture here. Grab that weight, get yourself set. Second position here, you're trying to drop. Drop and pull. So when you're dropping and reaching at the same time, your core works even more. Can you pull your elbows back, pinch between the shoulder blades? Reach out in front into a big V. Make sure that your knees are tracking your toes.
We got three seconds. And relax. Getting into second position, stay here. We're gonna find it low, and in that position, palms are up. You're gonna give me some bicep curls. So hold that sumo squat, and stay there. Push those knees back. If you wanna layer on, you can add a heel. Staying in that squat. This is where it's nice to have no shoes and really work your feet. Squeeze at the top. Eyes are lifted, core is super pulling in. Now, we have five seconds. You're gonna to transition to the bar. Pick one arm, both weights in, parallel feet so you have a little space. Lift the heels, you're gonna squat, then press and curl. Squat, curl, press, come up. Drop and stay. Now alignment, feel like you're bringing your butt down to your heels and the other arm is just light on the chair. And roll into your toes. And you're nice and tall, right? Sink a little lower if you can. Roll into those toes. All right, just do a little calf raises. We can work the time here. Now, stay up on the heels, drop yourself down, hold the weight of the shoulder. From there, we're pulsing down. Oh yeah, here's where the heat turns on, right? And then again, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips are over your heels. I'm having a little shake, how about anybody else? Hold it, abduct, press out, press out. Okay, use your toes. Ooh, come on, stay there, I was shaking. Oh yeah. That hand stays with one weight. Opposite, you guys. I'm right here, I'm gonna kick back, watch the back wall, right? Curl it up, kick it back. Eyes up, push back. And when you do the kickback, right, you could turn the palm up. Watch out. <laughs> Come a little more forward, people, right? I think they asked me if we were doing a movement like this, and I said no. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Big movement here. No rushing. Curl it, press it. Forearm plank. That arm still has the weight. Come on your forearms. You're gonna have it out to the T. Lift the weight up for a moment and then come into side forearm plank and then lower back into that T and open back up. Woo! You can always drop to three pounds if you need to. Make sure your feet are separated. Pause for a moment. And open up. Remember, we're gonna be going when we do all these movements to the other side. So remember which arm that you used. Woo, come on up. Back into sumo. Here we go, guys. Round two. Reach as you drop. Reach out. Hold to. So bring the elbows to your hips or to your backside. Reach. This is my inhale. You want to make it a little bit different. Long lever with the arms. Anybody else try that? Woo! Right, you can even do, I saw Diane do some jack arms. That's awesome. Okay, 
There's a lot of heavy breathing going on here. Okay, we're gonna drop and stay. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna drop into there. I'm gonna add a little three. Stay there, hammer curl. Now, pay attention to your knees. Don't let them come in, you press them out. And if you wanna add a heel. After this, we're switching to the other arm. So you're gonna see Carol's gonna take over the class, right? <laughs> She would be a master. She would nail it. Here we go. All on one side. Woo. Feet this time, heels together, toes turn out. First position, lift those heels. So curl and press. Now, so I have first position, heels together, toes turn out, and the clicking the heels, right? They're staying together the whole time. Man, I'm starting to really sweat here. Woo! And then when you slide down, keep that alignment. And when you come up, zip up your thighs. Zip. Grow taller. All right, shake it off for a moment. We're staying in that first position. Bring it in, releve, click the heels, drop, and then from there, just pulse. Oh, shoulders back, eyes up. Dig into your toes a little bit here. And squeeze your heels. Open up your chest. Light hand on the bar. Hold it. This time, all you're gonna do is do a little tuck and release. Tuck under, small one. Use that core. Ooh, right, are you feeling it? I'm seeing some shaking going on here. One weight. Opposite. Curl, watch the garage door, kick back. Curl up, kick back. Curl and kick. There we go. And when I'm doing my kickback, my palm is gonna go up to the sky. My leg is reaching and lifting. Lengthen your neck. And then when we come to forearm plank, we can go back to our own mat. Forearm plank, that same arm has the weight. Woo. Forearm, out in T, lift it up, then rotate. And then come back down. Pause, and open. Woo. So ISO is going on here. Hold it. I should not hear the dumbbell hit the floor. <laughs> Pause and open. You got eight seconds. I can hear a shaky breath going on here. Woo! All right, here's your break. Oh my goodness, right, sit back. Get some water, take a breather. Whew. Oh my goodness. You're doing okay though? Oh. So same thing is gonna happen here. We're gonna change up the movements. We got six again. And the same thing, we're gonna do one side, and then we'll do the other side. So you're gonna see some of us just switch to the other side of the chair. Whew, get that water.
So we're gonna be in second position. I'm gonna use five, again, three to five. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna bring the arms up, down, open, close. And then the option would be to have the heels lifted the whole time to hold that position. We're gonna go in five seconds. Bring them up, chest level, open up. And then bring them up. So here's the option of lifting the heels and just staying in sumo squat. Now when we're pressed for time in a workout, I'm keeping you more upright to work more parts of the body, so more arms and legs. And when you open close, right, open really pinch, squeeze a little bit together. And then we're gonna come to the bar with one weight. This one I am gonna go for a three. I'm gonna do three knees, and then on the last one, on that fourth, I'm gonna kick. A little leaning into the bar, three knees, kick. And when you kick, long and straight leg. Bop, bop, right? Elbow to your back pocket. Three is plenty for me, how about you? Whew. Finish the kick. All right, switch to the other side. Whew, it's right. Roll the shoulders back. Arm is up. Give me three knees. And kick, boom. And use your bar as just a little support, not a third leg. Really crunch over there, come on. You're so close. Finish the kick. No weight, mountain climber for four. One push up and two plank jacks. Climb for four, ready, four knees, one push up, tap or jack the feet out in. And then you watch your neighbor, right? We're all good. Nobody hit somebody in the face. Come on your back, dead bug. Watch your chair and your neighbor. Think opposite, arm and leg go down, and then switch. Arm and leg down, so think right arm, left leg, and then switch. So the knee can either stay bent, or you can straighten out the leg. But push your back towards the ground. up. Whew. Three pound weight in one arm. My leg away from the chair, knee to knee. I'm going to open, close, clam. So knee to knee. This is easy when my knee goes front. That's not going to work what we want. I want knee to knee. Open it up. You could tuck your elbow to your rib. Now hold the leg back, 
toes straight, releve if you want, lift the leg. And I can press into or hold that arm there, angle the leg to the back corner, but come up tall. Woo, all right, we're gonna go back to the first movement. I'm gonna go for my fives, second position. Heels can be lifted, up, down, squeeze. All right, second round. This is where I need you to turn it up. And how do you do that? Maybe you drop a little bit more into the legs. Maybe you lift the heels a tiny bit more. Get that range of motion. If something's limiting you, hey, you need to stretch. Woo. All right, we're gonna go into that lighter weight for that reach, three knees and the kick. So we're reaching here, light shoulders here, three knees and big kick. Great for your obliques, this is like great standing abs. And then your other shoulder, just let it relax. Oh, I need that leg to be nice and straight and strong and that kick, there it is. Finish the kick. Woo! All right, swing it around. All right, everybody's like, woo! Reach it up. Three times. Big kick. Relax the shoulder of the other arm. more. All right, we're going to climb the mountain, you guys. Four climbs, one push-up, and two jacks. Here we go. Four climbers, push-up, and jack. Five seconds. Dead bug coming up. Ooh. Quick transition. Oh my goodness, right? Legs and arms are up. Opposite. And exhale to bring it up. Take your time. All right, pause at the bottom. seconds. We come up into the other side for that clam with one weight. Woo, rock it up. Get to the other side. This is what's easy about this when we got a partner. I know that I'm on the other side. Clam, knee to knee, open, close. Carol, bring your knee to your knee. No knees forward, right? Open it out. You can tuck your elbow to your side. So we have that external internal rotation. And then hold it out 
Extend the leg, arm reaches back, you can releve. Straight leg lift. And I can just hold that arm back there. Lengthen through the neck. Maybe point your toe, go to the corner of the room. Last few seconds, you guys. And relax, whoo, weight goes down. I'm gonna switch sides. Let's do a figure four stretch. Good job, guys. <sighs> Yay. Figure four. Sink in the hips. Great stretch. Now you can get a little bit deeper, push that knee down a little bit. Oh. And then quad stretch, same leg. Pull the heel back. Open the hip. Oh. Boy, that went by fast, right? I swear when we have shorter workouts, you guys work harder, right? Woo. All right, figure four, other side. Maybe you don't need to hold on this time. Push the knee down if you want. And pull it back for quad stretch. Keep the length. And then relax, oh, roll the shoulders. You can do one and then the other, then do both of them. One more time, press out. And then when you pull back, bring the hands by your chest, eyes up, push forward, bring it up one more time. Exhale, round, inhale, open, arms down, big inhale. Gratitude, pull it into your heart. You have an awesome day, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Woo! Yay for you. Make sure if you haven't, you are subscribed to this channel. It does help me to keep creating free content for you guys. And hey, comment below right here. Have an awesome day. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, and we will see you back here again. Take care, guys. Woo! Great job. Woo! Yay!